Jim and I went to seminary together, Reformed Theological Seminary. This was in the 1970s. It was remarkable. Uh, Jim had a, a literary knowledge of the Bible. He was uh, familiar with every as aspect of Scripture. I remember a couple of times in a class that one of the professor would ask Jim, Jim, where is that in the Bible? And Jim would, would know where, where it was. And here we were both in our, our, our 20s. I mean, I went to seminary not knowing anything at all. Jim came with a full uh, repertoire of knowledge of, of, of the Bible. And his, his degree was in comparative literature. His father was a, uh, a professor of, of French literature. And one of the unique things, the unique approaches to, to Jim's methodology is, is to allow the Bible to speak for itself. One of the books that we are publishing of Jim's, actually we're republishing it, it's called The Law of the, the, Law of the Covenant. And it is an exposition of the case laws found in the, the book of Exodus. And Jim goes through, uh, through all those laws and he, he attempts to explain uh, what, what those laws meant given the, the, the time parameters in which they were given, uh, specify what they meant then and how they might apply today. Uh, this book was uh, written uh, initially, I think, in I think 1984. It's, it's going to be a facsimile uh, uh, reproduction of this book. We've just changed some of the front matter in it, but it's going to be that book. And it's a fascinating study. It will help you understand those, those laws in the Old Testament. And it's a complement, I think, to uh, Gary North's book, uh, Victims' Rights. You combine those two books and you get a very good understanding of what those case laws were all about.